Okay, folks, Carlton Flowers here, carltonzone.com, and we have the new Samsung Galaxy S3 sitting next to the former Galaxy S2. So right off the bat, we can see the difference with the size. The thinness is about the same. Actually, the new one is a little bit thinner than the uh, Galaxy S2. So let's fire up the screen so we can take a look at the new way that the lock screen works. On the old one, we have to flip down and slide the screen. And on the new one, we see the new ripply effect. So check that out when we tap the screen and we see the water ripples. And evidently that came from lawsuit issues, issues from Apple stating that they owned any graphic that slides across the screen, which is retarded. But you just slide and make some ripples and then there's the phone into the home screen. So we can see that. Um, Display-wise, I think the colors on the S3 are much more natural, but it's still very, very crisp and very razor sharp. So uh, the display is amazing. But one thing that I know, they said they wanted it to look less cartoony like the Galaxy S2. Scrolling is very amazing. And then the biggest feature that I like on the Galaxy S3 over the two instead of the four home Android buttons, you have one clickable home button and so to get back home you press the button you can also long press the home button to get the menu that uh, pops up uh, whatever apps. you want to pop up and what did it just show us there recent apps recent applications okay and so if you double tap will that also do a different function double tap brings up the menu search menu oh there we go s voice vilingo and other stuff so there it is side by side samsung's galaxy s3 Standing next to the former Galaxy S2, and I like it. What a nice phone, but I have to wait six more months before I can get my hands on one, and I'm very jealous about that. So there we have it. Check it out at carltonzone.com and grab you one at the Amazon wireless store for the best prices on the net.